Romance drips off the screen, but does it really happen IRL? From cozy quarantines to instaficial snaps and grandpas on Raya, here's the steamy tea on the Outlander cast's love lives. She may have garnered global fame for starring as Claire Fraser in Outlander, but when it comes to her life off-camera, Katrina Balfe likes to keep things out of the spotlight. Regarding her 2018 engagement to partner, music producer Tony McGill, she admitted to People, "...it happened over the break. I'm very happy." Needless to say, the details of their 2019 wedding remain tightly under wraps, but fans first caught wind of the couple's relationship when the two were spotted looking cozy on a friend's social media in 2015. This wasn't long after Outlander premiered, which simultaneously set up rumors of a romance between Balf and her co-star, Sam Hewen. But on the contrary, she says the star show helped orchestrate her meeting with McGill and made her a more romantic person. The pair welcomed their son in 2021. Scottish actor Graham McTavish found love across the way in France. French writer and entrepreneur Garand Storé tied the knot with the Outlander star in a private ceremony in his homeland. As McTavish told Vogue, "...I felt surrounded by love. The celebrant was a friend of 20 years. The bagpiper was a friend. I had friends from all corners of the globe there." The actor's two children from his first marriage were also part of the celebrations. The pair connected with each other via the elite dating app Raya, with The Hobbit star joking, "...I managed to slip through her algorithm, as she had forgotten to exclude men who resembled grumpy, bearded grandfathers. I also pretended that I lived in LA, when I was only visiting, because I didn't want to put her off." Outlander heartthrob and Hallmark Channel alum Sam Hewen has inspired many crushes for fans of the show across the world. Still, as big of a star as he is, the actor who plays Jamie Fraser keeps his private life under the radar. The actor has millions of followers on Instagram, but his profile rarely features juicy deets about his off-camera shenanigans. As he once told Esquire, "...I don't really talk about who I'm dating. It puts too much pressure, mostly on your partner or yourself, but also their families as well, as fans can be pretty intense." Currently obsessing over Outlander. Arg, It's so good! I also enjoy the amount of Sam Hewen biceps. Of course, nothing's gonna stop us from speculating. He was last linked to model Monica Clark thanks to pics published by E! News. But it seems this eligible bachelor is still waiting for true love. He told People, "...I've done all of the gift-giving and turning up when least expected, but so far, I'm still looking." His good looks and suave portrayal of Lord John Gray made David Barry an instant sensation when he first appeared on Outlander Season 3 in 2017. But unfortunately for starry-eyed fans, the actor was already taken. Barry said I do to the love of his life Christina in 2012. The two then welcomed their son in 2016. Barry's popularity had already been sealed with his starring role on the Australian series A Place to Call Home. Outlander took his career to greater heights, a milestone he has his wife's mother to thank for. Barry was apparently hesitant to take on the role in the drama, especially with a baby on the way. It was his mother-in-law, a huge superfan of the show, according to Barry, whose blessing gave him the confidence to go ahead with the project. Lauren Lyle and Cesar Domboy may be one of the most beloved couples on Outlander, but fans have long suspected that the actors' romance transcends the screen. The pair seem to share a deep friendship and know just about every detail of each other's lives. She'd drink an oat milk latte nice. if she's in a good mood. Mm -hmm. She'd drink uh, peppermint tea if she's in a bad mood. Shooting the series involved quite a few intimate scenes between Lyle and Don Boy's characters. And while the cast observed pandemic protocol, the actors visited each other frequently. Don Boy told E.T. We had a good training, Lauren and I, at like hanging together, staying together. And um, yeah, we know how to keep ourselves busy. To Outlander fans, her portrayal of Jocasta Cameron may be the highlight of Maria Doyle Kennedy's resume, but she is also a skilled musician, and her passion for music led her to her future husband, Kieran Kennedy. Also a musician, he invited Maria to sing for him. She recalled to an Irish magazine, "...he got a group of musicians together to record this demo and convinced someone to pay for the studio time and literally made a band so he could ask me out." He wanted to ask me out. And he said, well, if I just ask her out, she might just say no. The pair got married in 1988 and had four kids together. The family enjoys a tight-knit dynamic, with Maria telling the Times, "...it doesn't suit us to be apart or away from the kids for too long." Actor Laura Donnelly and her husband, playwright Jez Butterworth, share a creative connection immortalized in the 2017 production, The Ferryman. Butterworth drew inspiration from Donnelly's life, regarding her uncle's disappearance administered by the Irish Republican Army, and reimagined it for the stage. Donnelly played the protagonist's widow in the play, directed by Sam Mendes, which was showered with multiple Tonys. 
Donnelly told Broadway.com, it has been very emotional to be able to turn something very tragic around into something really joyous, particularly for my mother. It feels like I'm part of something incredibly special and something, frankly, for the ages. The couple first met while working on one of Butterworth's plays in 2012 and have two children together. It would have been impossible for Stephen Cree and his wife, casting director Colleen Crawford, to never cross paths in the industry. Still, Crawford attributes perfect timing to her relationship with Cree. Just before he landed the role of Ian Murray in Outlander, Cree asked Crawford out in 2013. The Scottish couple tied the knot in 2016 and welcomed a daughter together. The professional duo share parental duties, with Cree telling the Scotsman that he stayed home while Crawford went back to her career in the months following the arrival of their daughter. He shared, for the first time, I wasn't just obsessing about myself all the time or just thinking about my career. Simon Callow first crossed paths with his future husband at a London Philharmonic Orchestra performance that had him in the role of a narrator. A mutual friend introduced Callow to Sebastian Fox, who was more than 30 years his junior. Fox was working a corporate job, and Callow's work had him traveling frequently. As Callow recalled to The Times, it meant something when we committed ourselves to each other, just on a personal level rather than a formal one. We really knew who we were. The couple married in Mykonos in 2016, four years after they met. Annette Badland boasts nearly 200 acting credits to her name, but she shares the profession with her partner, David Hatton. Their story goes all the way back to 1979 when Hatton watched Badland on stage. Annette told the Birmingham Post, He fell in love with me over the footlights and kept coming back to see me. It was rather romantic. For the veteran actor, weekends are all about taking it slow, tending to her garden, and spending time with Hatton. Annette shared with The Guardian, We have brunch, smoked salmon and scramblies, or eggs florentine. We enjoy a prance around the living room. Billy Boyd found love all the way back in 2002. The actor, who had already landed his career-making role in the Lord of the Rings franchise by then, met ballet dancer Alison McKinnon at a theater show. An eight-year courtship followed, as did Parenthood, when the two welcomed a son together. They tied the knot in 2010, with Boyd telling the Scotsman, There was never a big decision not to marry. We just hadn't gotten around to it. They have a lovely relationship, they like each other, and they just like to have some fun. Fans were tickled to know that Boyd's Lord of the Rings co-stars, including Elijah Wood and Dominic Monaghan, took part in the wedding celebration. Actors Tanya Reynolds and Freddie Fox are both known for keeping their private lives under the radar, but when the Outlander star featured Fox on social media, it didn't take long for fans to make the connection between the two. Fox is already a stage and screen icon best recognized for what he calls nasty posh guy roles, according to The Guardian. He co-starred with Reynolds in 2019's Fanny Lie Delivered, but the rumored couple would have presumably met much earlier, given that the film spent years in post-production. Bill Patterson has had an illustrious acting career, thanks to the support of his wife, Hildegard Bechtler. Bechtler had found success as a film designer, then stepped back from her career to focus on her family. She recalled to The Guardian, At first, I was upset about leaving film. If I hadn't had a young family and a busy actor husband, I'd probably still be doing it. Bechtler soon turned her attention to a thriving career in theater design. Having first met Patterson in the theater, Bechtler told The Independent, I just wanted to be around him. He'd be intense and serious, then break into laughter and lightheartedness. Douglas Henshaw may be a well-regarded television veteran, but his wife, playwright Tina Stivicich, boasts award-winning works to her name. Despite any perceived competition, these two passionate artists get along just fine. With Henshaw telling The Sunday Post, We've lived together for 14 years, so we don't mess around with what we say to each other anymore. The pair welcomed their daughter in 2017. Just after getting married in 2010, Henshaw acknowledged how lucky he was to find his perfect partner. He told the Scotsman, She's about as perfect a match as I could ever find. So if it doesn't work with her, it's not going to work.